We're going to spend a few moments in uh, prayer this morning. And remember our needs and goals. Uh, we need to be uplifted before God. There are a few needs that I do have and that I know of. I want to think of uh, Conrad, still in the hospital in St. John's in Florence. And uh, he's uh, recovering. It's a slow process, but uh, I was in the scene this week and he uh, seems to be coming around. And he looked a lot better this time than the first time I saw him. So we're so grateful that God is working in his life and that God has laid his human hand upon him. And I morally mentioned to you this morning that Ronald, uh, Ronald, sorry, was in an accident uh, on the uh, bike. So I just pray for Crystal and, uh, and uh, is it Ronald? Ronald, okay. And uh, then, of course, we want to uh, remember uh, Janet, Janet's in the home. Does that show want to just remember her in these days? Claude and the family, and pray that God will be around about them. Doug is not with us this morning. It's, uh, it's been unwell in these past months, so we continue to remember him. And I uh, just want to remember Junior as well. Junior's uh, going through some things, so we just want to remember Junior Morris. And I'm sure there are many others this morning, names that I'm not aware of. Uh, but we pray that God will just be uh, around about them, and that God will indeed sustain them and be their source strength and blessing and healing in these days. We're going to turn to uh, our prayer song this morning, 647. <laughs> these are very true words, I must have the Savior with me, for I dare not walk alone, I must feel his presence near me, and his arms around me thrown, and then my soul shall fill me with Let him lead me where he will, I will go without our money, and his footsteps fall still. The third verse says, I must have the Savior with me, and now for the march of life. Through the tempest and the sunshine, through the battle and the strife. And I pray that this morning, if you have needs upon your heart, well, there's a lot of unspoken needs this morning, pray that you would just cast them at the feet of Jesus this morning, because he cares for you. He loves you, and he knows what you're going through, and he wants to walk alongside you, and he wants to carry your, your burdens and just help you get through uh, the things that you have to face in your life. Let's sing this course together, or the song together, uh, please. Amen.
Russell Morley has him well this past week, but it's so good to see you here. Uh, Morley, and you've been in our thoughts and you've been in our prayers as well. Let's just pause this morning as we remember those who need God's touch. God, our eternal Father, we come into your divine presence this morning. And Father, we come and want to give you thanks for who you are, for what you do in the lives of your people, for how much you want to be a part of our lives, Father, the lives of your children. And Father, there are many people who are going through very hard struggles. They're going through times of questioning and times of uncertainty, and I'm sure they have questions why. But I pray today, Father, that they may sense your presence. Pray that they might indeed know that you are in control of everything. You have a plan for everything. And even though we cannot see it, and even though we may not understand it all, help us to have faith, to believe, and trust in the God who knows everything. Father, for the names that have been mentioned this morning, Father, I pray that you would indeed be to the, each and every one of those individuals what they needed this moment. Father, we realize that there's nothing too big to ask of you. We realize that you are the great physician. We realize that you are the comforter. Father, we realize that you are the all-knowing God, so you know the needs of your people. Before we even bring their concerns before you to you, Father, you know them. You know these individuals. You know the struggles of their life. And Father, you want to walk into their situation this morning. And I pray that you would indeed do that and that they might sense your presence. For Father, those who may not realize that you're present, they might just look a little harder, Father, and see you in the midst this morning. So Father, whatever they need, just have your way in their lives, I pray. Father, there are many in our world today who need salvation. They're sick. They're sin sick, and they seem to be so unconcerned about that. And I pray today, Father, that again, something will just stir their hearts. That something maybe even as they go about their business from day to day, that they might indeed look around at your creation and look at your beauty. And they will again just be reminded that there is a God who loves them. A God who is very much aware of who they are and what they're going through in life and that he wants to be a part of their life. Father, I pray that today they would just fall on their knees wherever they might be at this moment and they might accept you as Savior and Lord of their life. Father, we want a revival. We want to see men and women, boys and girls, coming into relationship with you. So, Father, continue to move through your people. Speak to your people. Father, we believe and we have faith that great things can and will happen. Father, as we go into the open air this evening, Father, and open again, for those who will hear your word, Maybe those who will not be wanting to hear your word tonight, but Father, maybe they will hear something that will stir their hearts, that will draw them closer to you, and they again will realize that you are present, and that you love them, and that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to die on Calvary's tree for them. So Father, as we go into the open air this evening, whatever is prepared, Father, whatever will be said, whatever will be done, I pray that we give honor and glory to you. And that the end result will be souls finding the Savior and Lord of your life. Father, for the remainder of this service this morning, whatever is going to be prepared, Father, for the children's time, for your word, I pray that it will go forth with power from on high, Father, and it will sink deep in the hearts of your people. It will draw us closer to you. And Father, when we leave this place, we will be challenged to fight the good fight, to be ready, and to stand firm. Father, just move in our midst, we pray. And we'll be showing you all the praise and all the glory in your name. Amen.